What up and welcome to Rama Screen YouTube channel and here's my review of Peacock new series, Hysteria. Let's rock this. Okay, I'm just gonna cut right to it. This new show, Hysteria, fucking totally rocks. Now, it takes a bit of while to sit through all eight hourly long episodes, but it's totally worth it. At least in my opinion it is. Hysteria is brilliant, it's insane, it's provocative, and it's oddly relevant. Some of its themes actually speak volumes about the times that we are living in today. I love that the show makes fun of uptight religious nutjobs. I love that it mocks people who make mountains out of molehills. And it does it in a way that leans into horror without being too heavy-handed about it. And I love that the show is so classic rock and heavy metal. Whenever the characters talk about Black Sabbath or Zeppelin or even the Beatles, my ears perk up. Okay, do you remember that one Netflix documentary, The Program, Cons, Cults, and Kidnappings, where there were actual so-called boarding schools with the sole purpose of deprogramming teenagers? You see, some parents would send their kids there because they basically can't be bothered listening to or understanding their own kids. Well, the whole story of hysteria is a clever way of critiquing such places and such mentality by way of chronicling satanic panic in a small town. And the performances of Anna Camp and Julie Bowen in particular are outstanding. Those two ladies give 110% for their roles and it's downright impressive. Created by Matthew Scott Kane in Hysteria when a beloved varsity quarterback disappears during the satanic panic of the late 1980s, a struggling high school heavy metal band of outcasts realize that they can capitalize on the town's sudden interest in the occult by building a reputation as a satanic metal band until a bizarre series of murders, kidnappings, and reported supernatural activity triggers a leather-studded witch hunt that leads directly back to them. Starring Julie Bowen, Anna Camp, Garrett Dillahunt, and Bruce Campbell. The first few episodes are pretty wild because it's a coming-of-age tale and, of course, just like with any coming-of-age tale, this too has its formulaic arc of trying to impress a girl, which leads to conflict with other bandmates. So it's a fully developed, fully expected, fully invested friendship journey that would resonate with anybody who's ever been a teenager. The middle episodes are when things start to go wobbly a bit, but it never crashes and burns, thankfully. And by that I mean, it's kind of seemingly biting off more than it can chew. And I'm like, okay, where are you going with this? There are moments when it feels like the writers are juggling too many things and it leaves you wondering how on earth are they gonna make this all gel together. Luckily, gelling together is exactly what happens in the last few episodes. The way that they eventually fall into place is smartly woven. So the whole thing is kind of like flying on an airplane. You get some turbulences along the way, but it ultimately lands just fine on the ground. That's pretty much hysteria for you. Uh, not sure if I would categorize hysteria as a horror comedy, because a lot of it feels more like a horror drama. Anna Camp's character and Julie Bowen's character are both mothers from opposite ends of the spectrum, and when they once again collide in the final episode, it is quite a sight to behold. That's when the show goes really hard and visceral. Anna nails down that whole Reverend Lovejoy's wife's Think of the children! Obsession perfectly! And Julie Bowen's performance here is a far cry from what you remember her in Modern Family all those years ago. It's a hell of a departure on her part, and she does an amazing job pulling that off. Between the exorcism and the possession and the deprogramming and the murder mystery, the lines are blurred between supernatural, mental illness, and paranoia. And right smack in the middle of it, in the eye of the storm, is the sheriff, played by the great Bruce Campbell, who, as you know, is no stranger to this genre. Now, don't get your hopes up, Bruce is not here as Ash. He's not slicing, chainsawing demons on this show. His character is actually the level-headed one out of all of them. And Bruce is incredibly exceptional as this sort of straight character this sympathetic but firm, authoritative figure who's just trying to get to the bottom of all of this. So yeah, overall I give Hysteria the rating of 4 out of 5. You know, fear is a very strong motivator. Satanic Panic may have been a 1980s thing, 
But you can still see some of that same type of anxiety today. The fear of others, the fear of immigrants, the fear of the browning of America. All it takes is for one person, much like Anna Camp's character, to distort the truth and rally the crowd just for their own personal benefit. Sounds familiar? I told you this show is clever. <laughs>